Hello guys. Today I Jagveer Singh is here to tell you guys how to use Katia V5 software. So before starting and hopping into the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. As you can see on my screen, when you open up Katia V5, this is the home page that you are going to see. Sometimes when you open it up, you might have product as a default setting which might appear you can close it or open the product as you like I'm just going to do it manually by myself because my Katia settings are a bit different from what default settings are so you can go to file you can click on new here is the screen dialog box appear you click on product double click on the product click OK you can name the product they are asking for a new part number I'm going to set it as default product 1 right here so consider product as a parent and anything under it you can add when you double click on the product right click on it you have different options you can hide show properties and all other stuff you can go to properties in order to change the name and the part number if you want let's say I'm going to keep it J and if I click apply click OK there we have the video so we have other features like when we go to components we can add a new product or a new part or also existing components if we already have few components that you have already designed or made in Katia before you can add them under a product tree if you want to but for now, we are just introducing ourselves to Katia. So let's start by a new part. So before we learn how to make enter a part under a product, it's better to learn what actually a part is. So now I click on File. I click on New. The dialog box appears. You click on part this time click OK so this is the default part screen sometimes it might show you three planes inside of the access system that I have because of my default settings in Katia but it varies from user to user you can personalize and make different Katia settings as per user's requirement just like right now by default the part name is going to be part 1 you can change when you're going to save or you can just change anytime that you want we have a lot of features under the part as we can see okay. just like these you can see right here we have pad we have pocket so let's start with any simple feature design this is sketch sketch feature and we have two kind of sketches simple sketch and position sketch we will discuss about position sketch in further videos but before that I would like to tell you about how sketch works and what are the requirements of making a sketch in Katia before making a sketch we need to specify a plane on which we want to make a sketch on so in this case we have three planes which are specified here x y y y z and z x plane you can choose any one let's say I'm going to choose the y z plane to make my first sketch I click on the plane and then I click on the sketch it will take me inside a sketch and it will automatically show me the normal view of the sketch so sometimes while you might be working with Katia you might move your sketch and this might appear to be not normal to the sketch that you are working on you can always click on normal too 
in order to have your sketch facing towards you so I'm just going to use a profile in order to make let's say a rectangle you can also use other features whichever you want to it all depends on personal preferences there are different different ways of making the same feature so I made a rectangle using profile you can use dimensions right here constraints you can click on the line you can constrain it and also right now my default setting is in inches so I can always go back and forth under the tool and options and check my parameters and measurement and go to units in order to change the length angle time mass and every other parameter that I want to so if I go and click in millimeters instead of inches click OK see my parameters change automatically so this is another way of how you can change the parameters and all other CATIA settings by going to tool clicking on options and there are all other variables that you can change well for the first video I just want to focus on how to make a part a very basic rectangle just to let you guys know like how the pad function works so this is my sketch I want to pad it so pad is basically an extrusion that you want to do you click on pad then you click on the sketch that you want to pad so now you can preview it you can, you're able to see you can increase the length that you want to you can also mirror it in a sense that you want the sketch to be the middle of both the extrusions and then you can or you can simply specify that which location and which part or which side do you want to keep more and which side you want to keep less depending on user's requirement and then you can click OK and this is the part that you will get thanks for watching this is my first video